Ducks Unlimited presents the better waterfowling tip of the week. Tom's had a chance to hear me blow what I call the dominator uh, the last couple of days when we've been hunting here in Oklahoma. But we've seen a lot of pintails. I grew up in a part of the country hunting where we didn't have many pintails. Uh, I don't know how to call pintails. I've got a pintail whistle, I carry it in my bag, but I don't use it much. I have no, no experience with it. Tom does. Tom, how do you use a pintail whistle when you've got a flight of pintails up there and they get in that old plateau and they're going around and around? How do you coax them in? Well, actually, I learned the pintail whistle off of your show from Jared. And I saw a segment one time where he did the whistle and uh, it's a flutter noise. It's a little different noise than any other thing. And you just give them two quick shots like that and you over and over. And you got to trill your tongue like that. You really see them react to that little oh, whistle. Turn up, turn no, down, high, high, high volume, right. aggressive calling. Kind but of when you're doing that, Dom, do that call where you have them coming straight in. And if you'll throw that whistle, in, that works the best. Yeah, what about for widgeons? I know you can blow well, the same call on widgeons. Well, this call will call all three, and the widgeon is a three three note sound. It's a tee hee hee -hee sound. And then the teal is just a single beat. But, it, you know, it's not hard to blow. It's not like a mallard call. Duck calling takes years to do. But uh, you can blow a whistle real quick, and it's fun to do to see them react to it. Being natural is the key to calling waterfowl. Uh, this is the one I have confidence in, but I guarantee you, I have a pintail whistle. I'm gonna learn to use it like this guy, and I think when those big groups of pintails are up there sailing around, I'm gonna pull a few more of them in using this pintail. 